Well, hello again from my car. This time, not in as dark as normal. Actually, when I'm done, I'll flip you guys around and show you the sunrise. It's beautiful. It is 4.53 a.m. and the sun is already coming up. It's been really nice because it's pretty much daylight about 10 minutes into boot camp, which can be good and can be bad because we just roll out of bed and go. So we're definitely not looking our best, but it is nice that it's daylight. So it's a little bit easier to do the workout and it's already pretty warm in the morning. It's actually 60 degrees right now, which is crazy. It's not even 5 a.m., but I'm ready for my workout. I've got my water. I took my one up L carnitine this morning before I headed out the door. I drank about half of my protein coffee so that I have a little bit of caffeine. We'll finish up my protein coffee when I get home and get ready for the day. I actually have a pretty low key day today. My FabFitFun box is supposed to be delivered today. I'm an annual member so I pay for the full year up front so I can customize my full box. So that should be delivered today. I think I'm getting a few other deliveries. We'll probably do a little unboxing today. I have, like I said, a pretty low key day. Troy is going to be with his dad a little bit this morning so I'll have the house to myself. I I have a new dessert recipe to share with you that I found on TikTok. I really like TikTok for fun recipes. So I have a good dessert. We have a good dinner recipe. It's gonna be a good day. I'm gonna get my workout in and I will see you back home for breakfast. It is time for some breakfast. I'm going to be making one of my favorite post-workout breakfasts packed with protein, pair it with some fruit. It's absolutely incredible. So let me show you what's in breakfast. For my breakfast this morning, I'm making an egg foldover. I love these. It's a great source of protein, carbohydrates, super good after a workout. So I'm going to do one of the Carb Master flour tortillas, one slice of Sargento reduced fat pepper jack cheese, one chicken and maple sausage patty, and some egg whites. I'll pair this with some fruit, but let me show you how I make this breakfast. Again, super high protein, super good. I'm going to add a quarter cup of egg whites to the bottom of my skillet. And then I just place my tortilla right on top of the egg whites. And then it's going, we're going to allow it to cook until the eggs are set. Then we're going to flip it over. And that way the egg white side is up. I went ahead and sliced up my sausage. So I'm going to add that to one half and then my slice of cheese. And then we're just going to fold that over in half, kind of like we're making a quesadilla. And then I allow it to cook until the cheese is melted and the tortilla is a little crispy. And here's my breakfast. So here is my egg fold over. We have yummy melted cheese, sausage, egg whites, lots of protein. And then I have a few sliced up strawberries. So I'll go ahead and put all the information here on the screen for you for breakfast. I'm going to get some eggs going in my Instant Pot. This is my favorite way to hard boil eggs. It's so easy. I put in this little egg rack, a little bit of water in the bottom. You set it for six minutes and then you allow it to naturally release for six minutes. And then I put the eggs in an ice bath for another six minutes. So my eggs look good. We have a open one here even. That's how good it hard boils them. And then I just place them in an ice bath, like I said, for at least six minutes. Sometimes I'll leave it in there a little bit longer, even about 10 minutes or so. And then they are so incredibly easy to peel and you have perfectly hard boiled eggs. Deep end, we're alive, living life underwater. Let's spend all we've got getting buzzed. You pretend you're a god, I believe I'm a soldier. I'm going to mix up my Pure Rebuild from 1UP. This is my creatine supplement. I have tried all of the flavors. Hands down, pineapple is my favorite. It's so, so good. I just put one scoop in my hydro jug of water and then mix it up with my little handheld frother, add in some ice and I take, and it's a great way to get in my creatine for the day. And this actually helps build hard, lean, dense muscle, support strength, power, and endurance, and rebuild and recover from the toughest workouts. It's absolutely amazing. Most people should be taking creatine every day. I like the 1UP the best. I actually have a 20% discount for 1UP. I'll link it. It's the same place I took my L-carnitine. Let me show you. 
this. This is what I took this morning before I went to boot camp. I mentioned it in the car. Right now I have the blue raspberry flavor. Both of these are amazing. So I'll link one up down below with 20% off. And then I'll link Hydro Jug as well. I do have a discount for them. I'm just gonna use my little frother, mix that up, add some ice, and my creatine is ready. I'm going to make some coffee. So it is about 9.30 in the morning. I'm going to have my second coffee of the day, my second protein supplement of the day. If you didn't know, I typically do two protein supplements every day so that I can get in my protein. I try to limit myself to two. Sometimes I'll do three and typically it's like a protein water, but as far as protein bar, shake, or powder, I do try to limit myself to two. I did have my protein coffee this morning, so now I'm going to make a second coffee as my morning snack and with my coffee, I'm going to have one of these. These are from Midi Kids. They're little blueberry muffin snack bites. These are really, really good. I like them paired with a cup of coffee. I like them paired with my second coffee of the day. So they're little square bites. Tastes just like a blueberry muffin. You do keep these refrigerated. I actually got them at Sprouts, I believe. Well, Sprouts are Whole Foods. Sprouts. I got these at Sprouts. And then for my coffee, we're doing a 35 gram of protein blended frappuccino and I'm obsessed with this. It is 94 here today, so this is perfect. So what I'm going to use is some cold brew. So I use Draga. This is the Goose's Marshmallow cold brew. You can use any flavor. Actually, what's in my pitcher is mint, is the mint cold brew, but like I said, you can use any cold brew flavor. I do brew it right in this pitcher that I picked up off of Amazon. I'm going to add two scoops of my Herbalife High Protein Iced Coffee. Love this, obsessed with this. It definitely adds a good amount of chocolate and coffee, and this is what helps give it that frappuccino vibe. And then I'm doing one scoop of Clean Simple Eats Cookies and Cream. I really like these two paired together. It's very chocolatey, very, very yummy. I have discounts for Clean Simple Eats. I have an Herbalife, Herbalife, and Drag Up. So I will link all of it down below for you. And then we'll pair it with a Midi, with a Midi Kids Blueberry Muffin Square. So let's make a blended Frappuccino on this 94 degree day. So the first thing I do is add some cold brew. It really doesn't matter how much you add. I just put a couple, two, three inches at the bottom of my little Ninja blender cup. You just need some liquid for this. And I just like to use the cold brew to just bring out a little bit more coffee flavor. And then we'll do two scoops of the Herbalife High Protein Iced Coffee in the mocha flavor. That's going to be 100 calories, but 15 grams of protein. And then I'm going to do the one scoop of Clean Simple Eats cookies and cream. I actually love all of the Clean Simple Eats protein powders in general, and they're all really good in these blended drinks. The cookies and cream actually has little bits of cookies, so I really like to mix it in yogurt too because you get the crunchiness of those cookie bits. And then I add some ice cubes and blend it up. Look at how thick this is. It's literally like a milkshake. I love it so much. And like I said, 35 grams of protein. It's seriously so good. It is, you know what this reminds me of honestly is from Arby's. I don't know if they still have it because I never go to Arby's, but back in the day they used to have a Jamocha milkshake. That's what this tastes like. The coffee, the chocolate, mm. so good. With a little bit of whipped cream, we'll give the dog some. They're both patiently waiting. This is literally incredible. Milkshake, chocolate, jamocha shake, 45, 35 grams of protein. Mm, so excited for this. Again, I'll link everything I use down below for you with all the discount codes. Are you ready, bud? Here you go. Oh. There you go, baby. They love their whipped cream. They come a running. So I wanna show you guys our family pictures. So I mentioned last week that we had family pictures done. Ooh, that lighting's awful, sorry. I mentioned last week that we had family pictures done and we've gotten all our prints, we've purchased frames. I have lots of the pictures up in my house. So I wanna show you where I ended up putting all of our family pictures and show you what those look like. And then I'll pop up here on the screen all of the family pictures that we had done. They turned out so good. I'll actually fill you guys in on that experience after I show you the pictures. I love this picture of me and Lola together. She's got the biggest grin on her face. Like I said, after I show you the pictures in the frames, I'll insert the pictures so you can see them a little bit more clear. But I actually put this in a kind of gray washed frame and set that on this little table in our 
I guess, second living room. And then we did an entire collage in our hallway. It turned out so, so nice. I bought all of my frames on Amazon, super affordable. I'll link them for you. But we got the dog single photos. We found our very, we picked our very favorite one, had them printed in an eight by eight. Love this one of Lola. She looks so cute. And then we did a bunch of our family pictures. So here is probably my favorite of Troy and I and the dogs. And then I love this picture of Troy and Palmer. I think it's so cute. And then I like this one as well because Troy's actually looking at me with a big smile on his face and the dogs look super super cute in this one and then I have this one of me and Lola which I really love this one of me and Lola it's so incredibly special and then I love this one too this is my favorite just nice close-up of her and I together and then we chose this one of Palmer he looks so cute like I said You'll see these a little bit better when I insert the actual photo, but this is lining our hallway. Hello guys. So we have artwork on one side and then we have the photos on the other. And then the other picture is actually in my office and I love this one too so much. I actually got it in black and white. Look at Lola. She's got the biggest smile on her face and I'm kissing the side of her cheek. This kissing photo was not the best idea. You guys have to hear the story. It's pretty funny, but I put that one in my office. I don't The family pictures, that was an ordeal. I told Troy, never again. I'm glad they turned out great. It was a lot, a lot. So we took our pictures at this place called Madera Canyon in Green Valley. So it's about 20-ish minutes from our house. It's beautiful there. My friend Melissa and I hiked there and it really reminds me of the Pacific Northwest. Definitely doesn't look like you're in the desert at all. And you can see in the pictures, there's a lot of greenery and trees, water, little streams, there's waterfalls. It's absolutely beautiful. So it really was the perfect setting for family pictures. So we get there and the dogs are completely wired, completely wired. And during the entire photo shoot, and I'm telling you right now, I don't know how she got that good of pictures because I literally feel like it was a complete disaster. Lola wouldn't listen at all. Not at all. She wouldn't sit. She wouldn't look at the camera. She's looking off. She's wandering off. She's sidetracked by everything. And I told the photographer when we got there, she's really well behaved. It should be easy with her. No, she was not well behaved and it was not easy. It was very chaotic. And then Palmer is whining the entire time because Lola's in front of him and he always wants to be first. So if Lola and I walked off to get a picture together or when we were sitting on the log together, he was freaking out the entire time because he wanted to be right next to her. So he's whining, he's crying, he's super upset the entire time. He's also wandering off. He wouldn't sit, wouldn't listen. They're both out of breath and panting the entire time and I didn't want them to have I didn't want all the pictures to be with their mouth open panting. Troy's complaining because it's hot and his legs hurt and we're walking around and we walk down some trails to get to the little trees. 
that were sitting on the knocked over tree that low, that were sitting on for the one family picture. That was in a separate area than the first family pictures of us standing up. Troy was complaining. The dogs were a pain. It was super chaotic. Well, in the very, very beginning, that picture that you saw in my office of me kissing Lola, well, she's like, oh, kiss her on the cheek. So I kiss her and right on the side of her face is a huge lipstick print. I mean, huge. And I couldn't get it off. I'm wiping it. I took a leaf. I was licking my fingers, trying to wipe it off. Couldn't get the lipstick off the side of her face. So there's so many pictures where you can see the lip print on the side of her face. And I was like, dang it. I wish I wouldn't have done that or that we maybe would have taken that kissing picture last so that all of the pictures, so that a lot of the pictures with her don't have lipstick on the side. So that was a disaster. And then I'm covered in leaves and dirt because we're kneeling in the dirt. We're sitting on the tree. My brown dress has dirt all over it. We had to keep the log, the dogs on a leash the entire time. So in those single pictures of the dog, she actually edited out the leashes. It was a lot. It was literally like the longest hour of my life. And I told Troy in the car, I'm never doing it again. So I'm really, really glad that we got such amazing pictures and I really didn't expect them to turn out that good. I was honestly afraid that we weren't going to get any good pictures and we ended up getting amazing pictures. Our photographer, 10 out of 10, she was amazing. She was wonderful. She was so sweet. She loved on Lola the entire time. When I reached out to her, she, she asked why we were having family pictures done. And I told her that we wanted some memories with Lola because she has cancer. And she told us she wasn't going to charge us for the photo shoot because she does end of life photo shoots for free. And I was like, no, 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 she's fine. Like she's not at the end of her life. She's in chemo. She's doing really well. She refused to charge us. So Tori and I actually took out a bunch, we took out some cash and I gave it to her at the end of the photo shoot and she wouldn't take the money. I finally got her to take the money because I told her I just wasn't comfortable not paying her anything. I mean, she had to drive out there. She has I think five children, the gas, the time. So I'm really happy that she ended up taking the money. She edited and sent our photos to us that same night. It was, it was just a really good experience with the photographer, but it was a lot, a lot with the dogs in Troy. I felt like I was the mother hen of three children. So it was a lot. I'm glad they turned out amazing. To be honest with you, probably most likely the last family pictures that we're going to have, but I'm thrilled with how they turned out. And I just wanted to share because the story I thought was super funny and the end result, you would never know that it was as chaotic as it was, but it was definitely chaotic. So here is my lunch for today. I have a tilapia filet. It was 4.3 ounces raw. So that's how I tracked it. You can track your meat raw or cook. Just make sure you select the right one in your calorie tracking app. All I did is add a little bit of a Flavor God lemon pepper and some salt. And then I weighed out my sweet potato. I actually baked a bunch of sweet potatoes during my meal prep just so that I have them on hand. No butter, nothing on it. It's so good when it's baked. So this is my lunch for today. Let's try the tilapia. I'm watching. I'm watching 90 Day Fiance with the dog, so that's why the TV's on. But this is the, let's try out this tilapia. Mm. The crisp on it is really good. And then some baked sweet potato. You need belly rubs? Oh yes, you need a belly rub. Easy, 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 belly rub. Easy, easy, belly rub. <laughs> Oh, Lola, this is a pretty girl. You should show pretties. Oh, so cozy. Hi, bud. You want to go back at night night? I think Palmer has some allergies. His eyes have been really red and really goopy. Troy's been actually rinsing his eyes out, and I gave him Benadryl today because they... Hi, honey. Because they've been so goopy. Do you want to go back and go night night? I know, buddy. I'm hoping the Benadryl kind of wipes him out, but... Little Missy here is going to chemo tomorrow. It's a treatment I hate. It's a tough one on her, so she gets that tomorrow. So we'll make we'll make today extra extra special. Yes, we will. So for an afternoon snack, I'm going to make a snack plate. I love a good snack plate. It, it's a great way to get in just a bunch of different snacky types of foods. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to do some of the 365 Whole Foods Organic Roasted Red Pepper Hummus, probably one to two tablespoons. We'll see where we end up. And then I have these little mini peppers. I'm going to actually put the hummus in the pepper half. So I'm going to cut these in half, fill it with hummus, some blueberries for a healthy carb and some fiber. I have a cheese stick. This is a Sprouts brand cheese stick. And then we've got those hard boiled eggs that we made this morning. I'm going to do one hard boiled egg and I'm going to put that all together for a snacky afternoon snack.
So like I said, I was expecting a couple of packages and I just got a delivery. The first thing I'm actually really excited about, this is from Clean Simple Eats. They sent me an email and let me know that they were putting this out. And like I said, I was really excited about it. I cannot wait to try it. This is the brand new benefits for your gut health and beyond the pink probiotic. So Clean Simple Eats has officially released a probiotic. Now I shared in my morning routine video that I put out a couple weeks ago. If you missed that video, I'll link it. But in my morning routine, every single day I have a probiotic. And so I'm really excited to try these from Clean Simple Eats. It says clinically supported, decreased bloat, reduce normal stress and anxiety in 25 billion CFUs. So let's open this up. We love a good safety seal. They're actually pink. I kind of figured they would be actually pink by the name, but how fun is that? So here is what the probiotic looks like. So I already took mine for today, but I'll take this tomorrow. And by the time I edit this video, I'll have a couple of days under my belt of the probiotic and I'll let you know my thoughts. But this is a really exciting release from Clean Simple Eats. You need a probiotic supplement for good gut health. And we know that gut health actually plays a major role in weight loss. And then the probiotic will pair with the prebiotics in your food. And in order for you to get all the benefits of prebiotics, you have to have probiotics. They, they work hand in hand. So that's partially why I take a probiotic supplement every day. I'm so excited for this, but I will link Clean Simple Eats. I did link, I'll have Clean Simple Eats in the description box from the protein powder. Same company released the probiotic. This is an exciting, exciting release. And then I got my FabFitFun box. FabFitFun comes out four times a year. So basically once a quarter. I'm an annual member, which means that I pay for the whole year in advance. And what happens when you do that is you get to pick every item in your box. So you're not getting random items in your box that maybe you wouldn't want. You actually get to pick every single item in your box. And then I did a few add-ons as well. So when you're selecting your items, after you select your items, it'll give you the option to add things on at a reduced price. So if there was maybe two items that you wanted in one selection, you could add one as part of your box and then add one on for a really good reduced price. So I actually did a few add-ons. Let me, let's dig in. Let's dig in to my Fab Fit Fun Box. I'm so excited. I get excited to get this box every single quarter. Let's get comfy for this. So it looks like I did one, two, three, four, five add-ons to my box. And the box I believe comes with six items. So I should have 11 items total. So the first add-on that I did is this, and this may be a little bit of a surprise, but I do not own a travel pillow. I know with all the traveling that I do, I don't own a travel pillow. And I, this was actually one of the choice items, but I chose a different item for that. So I added this on to my box. I'm so excited for this. This is the Lost and Wander Travel Neck Pillow. Ooh, it's like a really pretty green kind of satin. It has a little clip here to put on your suitcase. And then the cover actually comes off so it's washable because planes are disgusting. So I'm going to want to wash this after every trip. But this is so perfect and it's just shocking to me. I'm shocking myself that I didn't have a travel pillow so I definitely wanted to add that on and then I also added this because it's one of my very favorite eye creams this is from glow recipe and this is the avocado melt eye cream I love it it is such a fantastic eye cream especially for in the morning the packaging so cute it's a little glass jar more of like a gel like consistency so like I said it's perfect for the morning and I haven't had it in a while and the price was about half or less of what I would pay at Sephora for this so that was my next add-on. Then I added this little style and edit root concealer. So I have a lot of gray hair. I actually just got my hair done. So right now my grays are fully covered, but I live for live and die. I live and die for root touch-up spray in between coloring. So I grabbed the dark brown shade of this brand style and edit. This was such a great price. And I also wanted this small one to throw in my suitcase for travel. Because when my roots, when my grays are coming through, every time I wash my hair, I need to use root touch-up spray. And then if I sweat a lot working out, I also need to use root touch-up. So I wanted a small one to put in my suitcase. I also grab this for travel. This is from Big Sexy Hair and this is the dry shampoo. These two things will come in really handy the next time I take a trip, which is tentatively scheduled for July for me to go to my 30 year high school reunion. So I'm going to put both of these in my little travel bag and I'm excited to have a smaller dry shampoo. My last add-on was this little dry pouch. I actually 
actually go to Hawaii every year with my girlfriends and Rachel always has to take her phone when we take water tours. So I thought I would do one step up this time and get my own little travel pouch. So this is one of those waterproof pouches for your phone. I got mine in the rose gold color. These are essential for swimming, snorkeling. We took our kayaking trip in Kauai. I would have given everything for one of these and they were like $30 at the gift shop. So I didn't buy one, but when we're, even when we were kayaking, I wanted my phone to be safe. I still wanted to take pictures, but I didn't want to ruin my phone. So this would have been so handy. It's super cute. It has a lanyard on it. It was an amazing price. So those were my five add-ons. Now let's dig into what I chose for this quarters fat fit fun box. So the first thing I grabbed is the Innisfree Daily UV Defense Sunscreen. I put sunscreen on my face every single day. Whether I live in Arizona or not, I always apply sunscreen. So when I saw this was an option, I grabbed it. This one is great. It doesn't have any white cast layers beautifully under makeup. So I knew I was going to pick that. This I'm so excited about. This is a new fragrance from, this is a perfume from the Vacation brand. So the Vacation brand makes amazing body sunscreen. I thought they only made sunscreen and they make an amazing, amazing sunscreen. But then I saw that they had a fragrance as an option and I love perfume. I wear perfume every single day. Oh, this is so cute. Look at the packaging. And I'm hoping that this gives me vacation vibes. I can't remember what the notes were when I read about it, but I'm hoping that it's summer, that it's just summer in a bottle. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells like a tropical vacation, literally a tropical vacation. I get vanilla, coconut, a sweetness, maybe a pineapple, and then a tiny bit of floral, but literally like floral from Hawaii, the sweet floral. Oh my gosh. I really love this. It's supposed, it looks like it's the scent of the world famous vacation sunscreen company. So their sunscreens also smell very tropical. And so they put that into a fragrance. That was an excellent choice because this is incredible. I'm so glad that I grabbed this. And then I love Amika. I love their hair mask. It's been in my, I've used up so many of their hair masks. It's amazing. And I actually saw that they had a high shine antioxidant perf shampoo and conditioner option, you get both of them. So that was amazing. These are pretty pricey. You buy the Amica brand at Sephora. This is the Mirror Ball High Shine Antioxidant Shampoo and Conditioner. Ooh, it smells good. It smells very fruity. I'm super excited for these and I am just about out of my shampoo and conditioner that I've been using, so perfect timing. So this is an anklet. I'm excited. I'm gonna put this on. I'll show you guys what it looks like, but it's a two-chained anklet. So we have more of a thick kind of chunky chain and then a thinner chain with the little gold balls. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this. I'm going to put it on right now and then I'll show you a little close up of what it looks like, but I wear anklets a lot. So I'm excited about an anklet. And then I picked a brush set from Spectrum Brushes. I have wanted to try Spectrum Brushes for so long. I like to grab makeup tools whenever they're an option. That way I never have to buy brushes, sponges, that type of powder puffs. I usually will pick those in my subscription boxes. These feel really nice, really high quality. Here is what they look like. They're beautiful. So we have a flat brush. I would use this typically for concealer or cream products. And then we have a little bit fluffier brush. You could use this for highlight or as a buffer brush on the eyes. And then we have a smaller buffer brush that's dual ended with a little bit more of a packer brush for the outside for the outer corner or to buff on the lower lash line. These are beautiful. They feel, like I said, really, really nice quality. Ooh, I am so excited for these. And like I said, I've wanted to try Spectrum brushes for so long. They're actually a pretty pricey brush brand. And then the last thing I chose, and I wish I wouldn't have chose it now because when I went to pick my item, everything was sold out. And it was actually a $250 credit to the brand Wove Made, which is a jewelry company online. And I was thinking $250 should get me a piece of jewelry. No, anything in that price point it was completely sold out and now I'm in the three or $400 range. And granted, I do get a $250 credit. I don't know if they're shipping for the jewelry pieces, but everything was pretty pricey on the website. So I haven't used that credit yet. I'm going to keep checking back. It doesn't expire and hope that something falls around the $250, $300 range that I actually want so that I can use my credit. So that was the sixth item that I chose. And like I said, I wish I wouldn't have done that. I wish I wouldn't have 
chose that. They did have a cooler bag that was pretty cool and I kind of wish I would have chose that. But regardless, I'll eventually use my credit. But that is my summer fat fit fun box. That was really good. Like everything in here was really nice. I'm so excited about everything I chose, all my add-ons. So I'll link fat fit fun if you're interested. I think I, ha I think I can find you some type of discount or something. I'll see what I can find. Link it in the description box, but definitely not disappointed in my summer fab fit fun box. And I can't wait for the next one. For dinner tonight, I'm making French onion meatballs with orzo. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need milk of your choice, light butter, minced garlic, white wine, beef broth, flour, Worcestershire sauce, salt and pepper, breadcrumbs, orzo pasta, some type of cheese. I'm doing mozzarella. The recipe calls for Gruyere, but you can really do any cheese. Fresh thyme, one egg, 96% lean ground beef, and a whole lot of onion. So I'm using my caraway Dutch oven because we have to put this into the oven after we cook down our onions and our pasta. So you want to use an oven safe pan. I diced up all of those onions. I was literally crying, <laughs> but I'm going to add in the onions and then we're going to add in some fresh thyme. You're going to want to stir these constantly. We're going to allow these to cook for about 30 minutes because we want them to get nice and caramelized. So to get started on the meatballs, I'm adding one pound of 96% ground beef to a bowl, one quarter cup of breadcrumbs, about a half a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one egg, some minced garlic, a third of a cup of cheese, salt and pepper, two tablespoons of milk, and then some fresh thyme. Going to mix this all together and onto a baking sheet lined with parchment paper. Go ahead and roll out your meatballs. Really doesn't matter how many meatballs you get, we'll just divide the number that we have by the servings. Daddy, pick on you, Lola, pick on you. Yeah, your tail. We're putting these into a 400 degree oven for about 15 minutes. I just pulled the meatballs out of the oven. We're just going to set them aside until we're finished with the onions. Once your onions are nice and brown and caramelized, we're adding in two tablespoons of flour. Go ahead and stir that, let it cook for about a minute or so. And then I add your half of a cup of white wine. Let that kind of deglaze the pan and soak into those onions. And then you're adding your three and a half cups of beef broth. We're going to add in just a pinch of salt and allow this to come to a boil. Now we're adding in one cup of uncooked orzo. Stir that in and we're going to allow that to cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. We do want it to be al dente, so don't cook your pasta all the way through. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat and then we're just going to add our meatballs right on top. And we're going to top it with the rest of our cheese. And we're actually going to throw this in our oven under broil for about five minutes. What we're looking for is this cheese to get melty and a little bit browned. I just pulled the orzo French onion meatballs. These look so good. This entire pot makes six servings. So let me go ahead and plate it up and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here's my dinner. This is one sixth of the pasta. Here is what is left. Troy's going to go ahead and dish himself up some, but this looks really, really good. We've got carbs and lots of protein. I'm so excited for my dessert tonight. Like I said, this is a recipe I actually saw on TikTok and I've been dying to try it, but I wanted to wait to try it out with you guys. Super easy, four ingredients. Basically we're making magic shell. I mean, I used to love magic shell. It's full of awful oils, terrible for you, high calorie, high point, but we're making a healthy magic shell option at home. So for this recipe, you're going to need yogurt. You can do any yogurt. I'm going to do two good vanilla. You're going to mix in PB2, so powdered peanut butter. We're basically making a Reese's peanut butter cup dessert. So we're going to mix in some powdered peanut butter, and then we're going to melt down some 
Chalk Zero chocolate chips. I love Chalk Zero. They make the best chocolate chips. They don't have any weird aftertaste, no sugar alcohol, no cooling. To me, they taste just like regular chocolate chips. It's my all-time favorite. I'll leave Chalk Zero with a discount for you. And then we're going to top it with some peanuts to bring in a little bit more of the peanut, peanut butter vibe. I'm seriously so excited for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is weigh out 170 grams of the Too Good Vanilla Yogurt. That is three quarters of a cup. I'm going to add one tablespoon of PB2 and then mix that in. Then I melted one and a half tablespoons of Chalk Zero chocolate chips and I'm just going to drizzle that on top of the yogurt. You can also kind of spread it out, whatever you prefer. And then I'm going to sprinkle one tablespoon of peanuts right on top. And then we're going to throw this in the fridge and let the chocolate harden. And we'll have basically a magic shell crust. So now it's nice and hard, just like a magic shell. And it's a Reese's peanut butter cup, high protein dessert. on today's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with us, seeing all the good food that I ate, unboxing my FabFitFun box. We had a really good day. Don't forget, I will link everything I shared with you in today's video in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my other favorite things, my Facebook group, come join us. We would love to have you. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week, and I will see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye!